Hey everybody, welcome to this week's edition of The Rundown. I'm Jordan Angeli and let's get straight into it. First, we're gonna talk about the record-breaking performance of William Yarbrough over the weekend and what that means for the Colorado Rapids record book. Next, Drew Moore and I speak about what the Rapids have learned through this first phase of the season and what they can take into the next phase as a third of the season will be done after this weekend's game. Speaking of this weekend, the Rapids head to LA to face the Galaxy. Can Colorado keep their unbeaten streak alive? Well, we're gonna talk about it all up next on The Rundown. Well, the Colorado Rapids head home from Vancouver with one point, and it was a big point. Not only that, it was record-breaking. William Yarbrough now leads the Colorado Rapids with shutouts. Here's what he had to say about that record after the game. You guys have to give credit to to the, the entire team and also the players who contributed to these clean sheets who aren't here anymore because it's a team effort. A clean sheet is 100% a, a team effort. I think, you know, we have to give credit to to the team as a whole for, for the, this uh, new record. Drew, you got to play with William. He's a fantastic goalkeeper. What is one thing about him that allows you to believe, okay, he absolutely deserves this record? Will demands a lot from himself and he demands a lot from his teammates. He's such a good leader, uh, he's a good voice, um, and he, de he deserves this record. He comes in every single day, Demands a lot from every single person down in that locker room and, and in the hallways down there. Uh, and, and I couldn't be more happy for him. Yeah, he's a leader through and through. One of the other things that happened in Vancouver, we saw Danny Leva, new addition to the Colorado Rapids squad, make his debut. Drew, what can he add to this midfield that we don't quite have right now? Yeah, Danny's a, a good young, young player, right? But has 50, 60 MLS games under his belt. And so he brings more experience uh, at, at a very good age. It's a fresh start for him because he wasn't getting minutes at Seattle. And so he's gonna be hungry to come in and make an impression. But he's somebody that I foresee stepping in and, and looking extremely comfortable from day one. He, he certainly looked comfortable in training and, and in the minutes that he played yeah. in Vancouver. The, the Rapids are on a really good run of form. Six unbeaten for them. After this weekend's game, that's gonna be a third of the season done in MLS play. When you look at the results so far this season, Drew, and what the team has learned through this first third of the, the year, what's one major step that needs to be taken as they enter the second phase of the year? Yeah, I think it's interesting. The Rapids, they haven't won as many games as they would have liked up to this point of the season, but it's weird. The, the results on the road have been decent. The home form needs to be better. This has always been a fortress, right? And, and I think one thing you can point to is just picking and choosing when to go for goal in transition with the ball, right? They're a very good attacking transition team, the Rapids. They've got a lot of pace, very skillful players. They're, they're struggling to put the ball in the back of the net. And I think sometimes they can take the sting out of the game in possession, keep the ball a little bit, tire the other team out, whether that's in the middle third, in the attacking third, and pick and choose those moments to really go for goal. Wait for more clear-cut chances, I feel like, because they have the players that can do it. They have the energy to do it. They have the pace to do it. They need to put the ball in the back of the net. If you get the wins at home that you mentioned, St. Louis, maybe even LAFC in there, this Rapid squad is feeling a lot different about those draws that they get on the road. Well, we got to move on because the Rapids are set to head to LA Galaxy this weekend. One of the best clubs perennially in MLS, but this year, has been a little bit of a challenge for LA Galaxy. Drew, when you look at this Galaxy squad, this will be the 82nd time these two teams have faced each other in the regular season. But the Colorado Rapids seem to have a little extra energy when going to play the Galaxy. As of late, those have been pretty good results for them away from home. Yeah, the Galaxy are still one of the darling clubs of this league, right? They have a lot of success, maybe not lately, but they still have the players, right? The Rapids are always up for them, but for whatever reason, right, you prepare well for them, um, whether it's on the road or at home. And, and so I think regardless of who's playing for the Galaxy, the Rapids will go there with confidence, thinking that they can get three points, and, and they should. Ricky Pouche is the catalyst to this team. The Barcelona product comes in and he really sets the tone for them of how they want to possess, how they want to go forward. Is it as simple as just marking him out of the game? I don't think it's that simple because Ricky Pooja is a good player. He will find ways to get on the ball and that's what the Galaxy want. He's got some good players around him and so you can't just put all your focus on Pooja because you can get punished in, in other areas. But you have to have somebody close to him. You have to communicate where he is at all times. And if he does get time and space, you have to be organized and, and the Rapids will go there with a very good 
organized defensive game plan and, and certainly hope to uh, hurt the Galaxy on the other side of the ball as well. That's what Drew had to say. This is what the team had to say ahead of that game against LA Galaxy. Obviously, they're a very, very good attacking team with very good attacking players. So we have to be uh, clear in how we want to defend them. And then the other part of it is uh, when we're good with the ball, we create a lot of problems for the opposite team. And uh, I felt like against Vancouver, we weren't good enough with the ball. So it's been an emphasis for the week. Oh, of course, there's uh, some, some good players, but if we work together, uh, like we did the last uh, many games, we, uh, we can control the game in that way. Be compact, compact uh, defensively and uh, be solid. And, uh, and then, of course, uh, score when we get, get the chances. The Colorado Rapids go to LA Galaxy. The Rapids are in good run of form. Galaxy up and down. Could this potentially be a trap game for Colorado since they've been so good on the road as of late? No, it can't be a trap game. First of all, it's a Galaxy. Again, a team that we step up extremely well against. They haven't lost in a while, but they need to start getting wins. And, and I think it starts Saturday night by putting everything you have into this LA Galaxy game. You're, they're taking it one game at a time right now. They're in the Open Cup as well, but this can't be a trap game. And, and I don't picture Robin or any of the players thinking that, that this is uh, this is an easy game. He doesn't even play anymore, and you can sense that this is very important for the Colorado Rapids. They head on the road Saturday to face the LA Galaxy. That's it for us on this edition of The Rundown. We will see you next week.